Hey everybody, welcome back. So, I will admit, it's actually been several months since I've recorded the last video. Um, I actually, when I was fighting the last boss fight, I, I did get a little frustrated and, um, something happened with my GameCube and I had to fix it. I got it fixed, it wasn't a problem. I think it's just because it's so dusty, but I honestly don't remember what was going on. Um, and I have actually played, um, okay, sorry, I have to remember the controls. Um, okay. Okay, Razor League does that, okay. Um, I, oops, there we what was I trying to say? Um, there we go. No! Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, I actually played the newest um, Mystery Dungeon game already, and. Come on. Why well, the B button opened up the menu? There, it's just being silly again. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, I've actually played the newest one, Super Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Played it and beat it since the last time I, I recorded this video, so I'm actually kind of used to those controls, unfortunately. Um, I'm still doing the post story in that one because I find it ridiculously difficult for no reason. Um, okay. I have a slight button. Um, I know, sorry, I'm being a little quiet. I'm sitting here trying to remember... Okay, so I need to push L. Oof, that been bad. I have to adjust to this version now. I was actually playing a Totodile. I had a Totodile and a chess pin, and I normally um, play plant types. But, um, I don't know, I just had this feeling that I didn't want to play plant type in the newest one. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because, uh, Helper was playing it as well. He had a Rylu and, oh, what else did he have as his partner? Oh, um, the Fox, what's it, the, uh, whatever the Fox starter is from the newest game. I can't remember the name right now. Um... Embarrassingly enough. Um, and he's had a lot of trouble because he has so many of the same types of moves. Especially with the areas with a lot of ghosts because he's got a lot of fighting types. Fighting type moves. And it has not worked out in his favor. But, uh... But yeah, so I really want to finish this game. I really want to finish it. I can start something new. Hopefully I can win this time, because... Um, so I actually, what happened was I lost, and I was very frustrated. And I don't like to record when I'm frustrated, because it doesn't make the video any fun, especially for people who are listening to it. Um, so I actually recorded two more times before I threw my controller out of frustration. Which I didn't actually throw very hard, which is funny, because uh, I'm pretty gentle with most of my stuff. But anyway... Um, uh, and I could not beat Moultrie's, and I think that's one reason I quit playing for so long, was because I just had to get it, the frustration out of my system. And then I got tied up in a bunch of other games. Like, I really want- I just got Yokai Watch for Christmas, and I really want to play it, but I need to get some recordings done for our viewers. Alright. Oh, yes, and now I remember I'm in a bad position. Okay. See, I'm so used to the new game, it actually would tell you if it had a range or not. Yeah, range straight line. I apologize, everybody. Going front. Going front into corners, okay. I 
And that's the other thing I love about... I, you know, there was a lot of things I didn't like about the new one. There's a lot of things I did like about it. One of them was... Um, excuse me. Uh, you couldn't do friendly fire. I thought that wasn't the best thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna leech seed him. And hope... Okay, that works. And I'm going to poison powder. I honestly don't remember what I did last time because literally it has been less. That's interesting, he's like freaking out. Okay. Um... Game! Oh, God, the, the menu's probably gonna go crazy because I'm like bashing the B button. Wait, no. I have nothing to give him. I guess tackling him is my best bet. I have a feeling this is going to be like a lot of me failing this. Oh! I don't know what to do because I don't know if running is going to help because we're so both so low on health. I might as well just keep attacking. Hopefully he'll miss. No! I was defeated! And we gotta do it again! Alright. I'm not giving up this time. Okay, yes. Yes, keep going. So I hope everybody's having a good holiday. I got my Keurig cold. I was excited. I know, it's funny, a lot of people have been picking on me. They're like... It's so useless and and you're wasting you're hurting the environment with all those things and it's funny that everyone's been so negative about it but I really like it but then again I have acid reflux real bad so I don't get to like just take a can of soda out of my fridge and start drinking it because that'll make me pretty sick actually. Um, I know there was a way to just turn. Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't, I have to let it go flat, because otherwise it gives me really bad sore throat. It makes me feel kind of sick to my stomach. So, we got a soda stream, hoping that would help, and strangely enough, the soda stream doesn't help me any, because, uh, I always feel like I put way too much carbonation in when I do the soda stream myself. So, we tried to cure it cold, because my only real option is to either let it go flat, which takes forever, and by the time it's gone flat, I don't really want the soda anymore, or it doesn't taste nearly as good without the carbonation. Or I just go and get a fountain soda from a place like Sonic or Wendy's or something. But so anyway, we tried the carrot cold and we got it all when it was 50% off. So it was actually a pretty good deal. And, um... I know... There we go! Game. Game! And anyway, uh... And I found out you can get the you can get the little pods for it pretty dang cheap off the Keurig site, but I I love it because the carbonation is is small enough, like the little, the little carbonation in it, like the bubbles in it are actually really small, kind of like in a can, but you don't have nearly as much. It's more like a fountain soda. I don't know. This is like really, I I don't think most people really care that much about soda, especially carbonation, because most people it doesn't bother them at all. Like helper can drink a whole liter of soda, you know, and not be bothered by it at all. It's crazy. Like I can't watch him. It makes my throat hurt just looking at it. <laughs> but uh, so we got the carrot cold, and I am happy to say I can drink an entire glass of soda from it and not get sick. So for me. That's pretty dang exciting. I think most people, though, they're probably looking at it like, this is total overkill. And you can also recycle the pods, which I think is pretty exciting, because I'm, I actually, the funny thing is we recycle more than we throw out, me and Helper, and, um, so, recycling is very important to me, which is why, one reason I always got frustrated with our Keurig coffee makers, because I don't know how to recycle those things, because I think you just have to completely empty it out, and, those, those things are always like, oh, don't, don't open it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh. But anyway, I'm, I'm excited. In fact, I might have to get a cream soda for a minute. Between videos. <laughs> I know, I'm really excited. I'm spending this whole video talking about soda. But, 
And I got a... I got the Wii Fit U game. So I've been working out on that. Kind of exciting. Of course, the Wii Fit U doesn't like me very much, because it's always complaining how I'm underweight. It always... The little board thing is always like, you're underweight every freaking time I get on it. So it's like, ugh. But for one day, I made it to my goal. made it to 120 pounds. I was excited. Up to 120 pounds, I should say. You know what? I'm debating if I should... Nah, I'm just gonna go, let's go lose again! Yeah, we're back. We're awesomes. Maybe Moltres isn't around. Let's slip by while we have the chance, if only. No, we have to fight him again! Yeah, I know. You know, I don't even remember why I'm here. I really should have watched the last video. I, If I remember right, I think I remember why I'm here, but... Alright. I'm starting to think this whole wrong with my game. I say this every time I sit down to play. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to the new controllers, like from PlayStations and stuff. Come on, miss. Yeah! Misses are awesome. That's poison. Poison! Moltres is like, Ugh! Miss, miss, miss! No! That wasn't a miss! That was a horrible hit! Hit me! Hit me! Or miss! No! I have to do it again! That's okay. We can do it. I can do it nine times. No points for that. Although, you're pretty cool if you know where that's from. This is gonna be like... a fail video of... failure. Ultimate failure! Oh! I saw Fury attack! And having played Super Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I was like, No! That was like... Way... Way way overpowered in Super Mystery Dungeon. It's funny because I never, I barely use moves like Fury at Swipes and stuff like that because they're not bad. Oh, they're not bad. You know, it's just not my play style. You know, because what you can do is, you know, you can really boost it by, uh, you know, each time they do a move, you know, it's more powerful or you know, if you want to be really obnoxious, put something on them, they have a chance of repeating it, so you can get like five or six Fury Swipes out of it, depending on the version you're playing. But, I, you know, power-wise, I never really thought much of them, until I played Super Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh my goodness gracious, you wouldn't believe how many times I got KO'd from it, because it's like they critical for like 20 damage on one single Fury Swipe, and then they critical again, and it, I, I'd be full health, you know, right into the dungeon and there were a couple times the first enemy I saw killed me because of fairy swipes and I was so frustrated like I don't generally get that frustrated with games unless I'm doing PvP then I get so frustrated I like it start crying and then Helper is like trying to calm me down and he was always like I know you hate PvP why'd you even bother but other than that I don't usually get that frustrated and I was getting pretty dang frustrated with that game like Helper just gave up he didn't even get I don't even know if he got the third of the way through the game before he just gave up. And I don't know why they made it so difficult. I don't know if people were complaining that the previous games were easy. I mean, I always felt like the main storyline was well balanced. The post game was hard and then the extra stuff was very hard. I always felt like that was how it should have been, but no, let's just make the whole game way too dang hard. Actually, I thought my Totodile was pretty cute, too. I'm not usually a fan of Totodile. Like, 
And the thing was, I th the reason I went with Toto Dial was because I was actually looking at everybody's moves. And why am I not doing Quick Attack? Is he out of Quick Attacks? Is that my problem? Hold on. Um. Hold on a minute. Uh. Anyway, so as I was saying, uh, in this one, I, I did give him credit. The one good thing about the the new one is it told you what moves they had, and they started out with abnormal moves. Like, Tordal had moves he just should not have had at that low of a level. And I think, again, because they knew the game, they made the game too freaking hard. Um, uh, so... I noticed that Totodile had like a ton of moves, you know, he had like a steel type move, and he had an ice type move, and he had a water type move, it was ridiculous. And so, um, that's the reason I ended up going with him, actually, is because... I wonder if I don't... Can he be paralyzed and poisoned at the same time in this version? Because I'm wondering if I should just not poison him in case he wants... in case I can paralyze him. I'm gonna go for that type thing. Might not. Oh, gross. Oh, ho, ho. no, and I miss. Fudge much. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Hold on, nothing I can do about it. Tackle. Ooh, ho, ho. The set move can't be used. Why? Oh. Ah. This is what will not be nearly as effective. Oh, what? Yes! Yes! I don't remember any of the voices I did, so... Ugh. I'm not done! I'm not finished yet! Wait, listen! We're not here to cause trouble! We're, we're here only because we were chased here! You have to realize this mountain isn't, isn't the only place that's suffering! Natural calamities are occurring all over the place! We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything! But we want to help other Pokemon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true, please believe me. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes! Look into my eyes! Ah! Ah! Fine. Trust that you aren't lying. <sighs> that was scary. I felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that wreck our... Rack our world. Rack. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure I know what rack means. If any of my viewers do, let me know. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... Ah! Ah, we will! We'll get on it! We're being hunted, so we can't get to it right away, but we're a rescue team! We'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities, I promise. Ah, I'll hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget the courage you showed in facing... If you do not forget the courage you showed in facing... Ah! Ah! Is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. <laughs> oh. Does it need to do that? Don't call him an it. I don't know if it's a male or female, but it's not an it. I'm pretty sure Moltres has a gender. Ah! Yeah, that was scary! But I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Anyway. Let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. Yay! I finally beat Moltres! <sighs> we sure walked a lot. I'm bush. Let's rest up. Oh, he's so cute sitting like that. Mm, the view.
seems fantastic. As it explodes into a fiery eruption. Oh look, Smappy, over there! See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Smappy, do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon can get through there. And then we gave it all... all... Sorry. And then we gave it all our... Then we gave it our all to get out of here. Oh my gosh, this is hard for me to read. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far, maybe there aren't many more Pokemon that can get to us. <laughs> You're right, no one can get us! Ha <laughs> ha I thought so. You think so too, Smappy, right? Yeah, you're right. There can't be anyone else. Ha ha ha. All right. We can say goodbye to living like fugitives. We don't have to keep running anymore. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Uh, it's no good, Spappy. We've forgotten some tough customers. It's Alkazam's team. They'll keep chasing us wherever we go. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to get somewhere no one else can get to. Let's keep positive and... Let's be positive and keep moving. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Trappy? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. And... I told you already. I said I would go with you, Smappy. Oh, come on. No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Smappy. I'll go wherever you go. So Smappy's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded, fetid swamps. I know that's an actual word. Scaled frozen cliffs. Until finally Smappy's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. Snow, snow, snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. And we'll see you guys next time.